what's up guys and girls so it's definitely been a little bit if uh, you've been following along the channel you will know that our camper is now in the shop due to Niagara Falls developing in our bedroom every time it rains through our light fixtures so anyways we did something we haven't done in 20 years and that is live under the roof of my parents until this gets fixed so anyways that's where that's where we've been that's what we've been dealing with on top of working with uh good old high viz things have been absolutely nuts so i want to talk a little bit about matt rose and i'm kind of thinking this guy is the uh nostamus of the railroads a while back he did an interview with trains magazine and he talked specifically in this interview about precision schedule railroading and he straight up warned against it um i'll put the articles and that interview in the description down below but for those of you who don't know matt rose was the ceo of bnsf uh, before carl ice and katie farmer and this guy has been held by Chairman Overman and many others as pretty much the best CEO BNSF has ever had. And honestly, if you ask a lot of the people, BNSF thrived when he was at the helm. And it's kind of hard to argue it. So he predicted and warned in this interview against PSR. And specifically that if PSR was adopted and used that eventually the federal government would step in and regulate the piss out of the railroads to the point that they wouldn't be able to run their own railroads anymore and we're starting to see that happen and quite honestly the guy was spot on you know he strongly believed that less is not more and that is exactly the principles in which these idiots running these railroads have adopted. So I wanna start a conversation and dialogue with you guys in the comments down below. Read these articles regarding Matt Rose and I would like y'all's feedback and input regarding that article. So yeah guys, let's start the dialogue and i want to know what you guys think about matt rose's predictions who he was as a ceo and you know just just what you guys think about this because think about it i'm kind of starting to think the railroads are starting to lose their grasp in the government and the public as a whole because we now have the fra two-person crew rule proposal on the table there's a new bill that has been introduced that will allow shippers to fine the class one railroads over numerous different uh, things, you know, delaying their shipments, failure to switch, and essentially make it to where railroads aren't the only ones that can find people anymore. Um, and I don't think they're gonna come out on top in this PEB like they're thinking they're going to and you know these these regulations that uh states are starting to impose on crew consist it's just not looking very good for these guys and i'm starting to think that matt rose is the new railroad nostradamus you know based off his uh his interviews so guys let me know what you think what you have to say let's get this dialogue going and let's get some information out there I'll get another video out over the uh, rolls and whatnot here pretty soon and my predictions on the PEB and uh, we'll go from there. So guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow the channel, hit that notification bell. We'll see